Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Dapper Rat, and uh, I'm a bit sick right now, so that's why my voice sounds weird. And uh, this is also off script, but let's j the, let's just get this out of the way. All right, I love Arisa Metas, okay? Uh, put down your pitchforks and your torches and shit like that, because uh, like, at least let me explain myself. I don't find Arisa fun. I don't like playing her. I don't like playing against her. But she feels like a necessary evil, and when she's meta, I actually do have fun playing her because of something else part of Overwatch that fucking sucks. I love Winston and Ball. Those are the tanks that I main, and those are the ones that I put my the most amount of my time into trying to learn and get better with. Ball, I'm not too good with. I'm probably like gold at best with Ball. But with, with Winston, I feel like I could easily push into high plat and with more practice, probably make it into diamond. The issue that I'm running into is that of counters. Now, to tell you a story, I played a game recently on Circuit Royale. We were on attack, I chose ball. I like ball on Circuit Royale. And right off the start, I use my grappling hook and I swing over the wall that's to your right as soon as you come out of the spawn doors for attack. I go up to the high ground, I see a soldier there, practically by himself, there's a couple of people on the more patio area, but he's on the little bridge. So I pile drive, I start shooting at him, he gets healed, and then that's kind of the first problem that I have with Ball, it feels like his kill potential is really dog shit, but at the end of the day, I, I, obviously it's probably a fucking skill issue, or I'm, I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing, or my timing was off, there's, there's something wrong there, you know? The, the problem lies with the fact that, from my understanding, he then ran back to spawn and swapped to Sombra. So I, I, I didn't even get value, and he goes back and he, and he counterpicks me. So I could already tell right from the beginning that this match was, I, I might as well have not played. Provided that you play video games for fun, you know, like a normal sane person. I might as well, I should have just fucking left at that point. I should have DC'd and taken the penalty because what's the, what's the fucking point? Genuinely, what's the point? I haven't even gotten value yet and he swaps, so it's going to be a fucking miserable experience for the rest of this game. And it was, so I, I get hacked, he hacks all the packs and stuff like that, I, I can't heal up properly, I, I'd have to get it from my supports, which is not great on ball, so I eventually get hacked and I die. So I swap to Winston because I'm much better on Winston and in about 10-15 seconds we get a team wipe. We absolutely like fucking roll them. Which makes sense, like I'm playing in a kind of mid to high gold area and as I said my Winston is probably mid to high plat, it's effectively smurfing at that point. So then immediately they come out as Reaper and by the way for the rest of their cast they're, they're tank swaps a few times but never really to counter me. And uh, I believe they've had a break from the start, which is not great for dive, but it's it's not a it's not a counter pick. I feel like it's just I'm getting countered, but it's not a counter pick because they didn't choose that to counter me. They just like playing breaks, so I, I really don't have a problem with that person at all. It was just unfortunate circumstances for me. As for the rest of their cast, their other DPS swaps around a bit. Also, doesn't really swap to counter me, and uh, the other support doesn't really swap to counter. I believe they played with Juno and Ana for a while. But essentially, so I pick Winston, we roll them, he comes back as Reaper, and the Winston-Reaper matchup because of the new armor changes is worse again. So I swap off of Winston because of that's how fucking hard it was, and he was playing Deny. He was playing Deny though, I should specify that. He wasn't just playing Reaper, he was playing Reaper and specifically playing to Deny me. He relatively left my team alone completely until I dove and then he would just play tonight. He would play to fight me. That's it. That was his job. That's all he did. So, in the face of that, I swapped to D.Va because uh, D.Va honestly has been feeling pretty good, uh, even despite the uh, nerfs to armor and stuff like that. And I think it comes down to being like one of the two dive tanks that has actual kill potential, you know what I mean? Because like, if, uh, if you're going up against a Winston or a Ball, just fucking heal whoever they're going after and that person's not going to fucking die. But at least with like, uh, D.Va and Doom, you know, it's, 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 it's a tougher 
it's a tougher heal for the supports. They have to, you know, actually use cooldowns and stuff like that, not just fucking pump healing into the person and deny you value. So I, we once again have a very fast team fight and fuck up the enemy team. And then they all come back and he comes back as Mei. Hooray. Once again playing Deny, I eventually get demeked, I get killed. I try to make D.Va work a little bit longer, but it's not working out. So I swap off D.Va, I go back to Winston, we start doing well again. Uh, I couldn't get as much value because my kill potential at this point was kind of like in the gutter. I was losing my mental, I wasn't doing well. And so we fucking ended up not doing well. And then we go to defense and the exact same thing happens. You know, you. I play the character that I want to play, immediately get counterpicked, and then we eventually lose the match. Hooray. How fun. Probably would have been good to get more st support from my team, you know, if they could swap to other characters, but at the same time, like, they want to have fun playing their characters, so expecting that is kind of fucking retarded, uh, respectfully. So that brings me back to Arissa. Realistically, I should have chose her. She was the correct choice for me to pick. Uh, but I didn't pick her. I'd rather struggle on the characters that I do have fun playing than choose someone who's boring. But after that game, I'm not sure if that's relatively true anymore. And so now I love the Orisa meta. I love the meta where I can choose a character that doesn't just fall over when the enemy team chooses another character. I feel like the, the rest of the community is a bit spoiled in this aspect because uh, they don't necessarily have hard counters in the same way or not definitely not to the same degree uh i play a lot of support as well for support the, the main pain point is that sometimes it feels like you can't do anything you can't like there's only so much you can do you can only heal and use your cooldown so much but if your teammates want to get themselves killed then they're going to find a way to do it for dps though, this is probably gonna fucking annoy some of you i mean junkrat and echo uh, i've been having more fun on echo but i just love junkrat and he has a couple of fun play styles with like flanking and hiding and stuff like that he has some fun stuff about him but uh i fucking hate spamming i hate spam rat so much i hope i don't wait i can't remember anyway that's but that's a different video the reason i bring him up is that when i think of echo it's not there's not really a counter pick. You know, I guess you could pick hit scan and have a better chance at shooting her out of the air, but then that's just a gameplay change. Don't fly out in the open or sneak up on them and burst them down and stuff like that. Play Echo because she doesn't really have a counter pick. You just change how you play and you can start getting value again. Same with Junkrat, but to a lesser degree, Farah is a horrid, horrid matchup and probably the worst matchup for a Junkrat. You can, like, if you're really skilled, and I've seen some Junkrats do that, I think I've done it successfully like once or twice, you can use your mind, jump up to the Farah, and then primary fire and use the, your second mind and just instantly kill it. Get that bitch out of your airspace. Rah, you know, it feel, feels great. But it, again, it's just a gameplay change. Take better angles, be be a little bit more conservative uh, with, with exposing yourself and stuff like that. Play a little more sneaky, be, be more aggressive and able to kill more people before she's able to kill you. But with tank, you can't. With tank, there there is none of that. Even for some of the most hated tanks. Nobody likes Roadhog, nobody likes Malga. You toss an Ananade on them and they fall over. There's nothing that they can do about it. They die. You play ball, someone swaps to Sombra, there's nothing you can do about it. The entirety of your kit, gone. No value, no nothing. You have no kill potential, and you can't displace nobody. You have zero value. Nothing you can do about it. Swap. And then there's some people that say like, oh, you can only, you can only, you only get counter swapped if, if you, if you don't have the skill. Yeah, yeah, the fuck I look like. A pro player can suck my dick and balls. I'm in fucking plat. Yeah, counter pick's gonna affect me, numb nuts. Jesus Christ. I'm get I'm getting mad at a hypothetical person because I know these fucking creams that play these games. Anyways, I'm sorry. This this is just essentially the video where uh, I say that I love Arissa because she's the only tank that I feel like you can play, and uh, and that's it. So uh, farewell, ladies and gents.